welcome back to another vlog and another destination, another hotel room. We are now in York. We've just got here. Chris has actually just gone downstairs to go and park the car and sort all that out. And I'm just up here with all of the luggage. Uh, it's about six o'clock, I think. So we've just got here. The plan tonight is not a lot. We are going to chill, go and find somewhere nice to have some dinner if we can get in, if we have to book. Um, if not, it might be just eat in the room, we'll see. And then tomorrow we just plan to be tourists all day. I'm really looking forward to exploring York. I haven't been here for years, probably about 15 years. As we were driving through, I just, I loved it as we were driving through the city. I imagine York at Christmas is so nice, like with all the twinkly lights and everything. So I'm looking forward to explore tomorrow. Plans are we are going for a chocolate factory tour at midday. Chris has booked that, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, and then the only other plans we have booked is dinner at the Golden Fleece, which is the most haunted pub in the UK. We have been there, like I say, 15 years ago. So I'd be intrigued to see if it's any different. Maybe we might see a ghost or an orb or something. Uh, I remember seeing on Most Haunted about the Golden Fleece. Uh, anyway, like I say, Chris has gone downstairs to sort the car. I thought I would show you the hotel room whilst, you know, it's not messed up. So we're staying at the Travel Lodge in York and it's a big room. We've got a plus room. So I think the difference with the plus, I think it's a bigger room and you get a coffee machine and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, as you walk in, here it is. I think it's wider as well. Um, so I've got here to the right is the toilet. There we go. Very nice. We had all of the talk as we came in at reception. So everything is sanitized and like the same with the same place. They don't come in and change the bedding every day. You have to book a slot. I'm not quite sure what you do for breakfast because we haven't booked a breakfast. I don't think they do it at the moment. So we brought our own. We bought some porridge and things. Uh, but yeah, telly opposite the bed. Nice chair. Actually, I like that chair. That looks like it's from Next or something. Wardrobe. We've got an iron and an ironing board. There's a hairdryer that I saw over there by the mirror. What's the view? Um, I mean, the view could be better. And then the coffee machine. And we've got hot chocolate. Kit Kats. If you were original, do you remember we had this at the Travel Lodge in London and we were all excited about it? <laughs> so that's the, one of the perks to the plus rooms. Um, and that's it. Oh, this is nice. A little map of where to go. Oh, we can have a look at this later and see all the tourist attractions for York. So that's good. Anyway, I'm going to unpack some bits and bobs now, chill out, and I probably won't vlog now until the morning, so... I'll see you then. Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? specifically from you see betty's tea room we've managed to get a table when we were walking we thought we'd have to book but um no it's not it's not busy we're like the only ones down here look how fancy the tea room toilets are very fancy So if you 
didn't know the government are doing like 50% off places to eat at the moment just to encourage people to go out more aren't they is it up to 10 pounds yeah. up to 10 pounds so we just got our bill and it cost us six pound 55 we didn't realize that betty's was part of it so yeah we were surprised when we got the bill Six fifty-five for two cakes and a pot of tea for two it's not bad and we bought some shortbread as well mm, but that was we paid for that separate <laughs> yeah so we are now about to walk down is it called the shambles it's just a shambles. shambles it's a medieval street that looks i'll just turn the camera around it looks like diagon alley out of harry potter It's got lots of little shops, there's a fudge place, there's a little bakery down there, little gift shops. It's quite busy. <laughs> potion experience 20 minute wizard experience all oh, right you get to make potions and things this is diagon alley <laughs> i think that's what they've done they've... yeah yeah that's what it is now take it slightly it makes you a slush puppy oh yeah look it's quite cheap 3.99 and 4.99 to do a potions experience that's not bad they've got a one shop Please use other door. Yeah, look, you can buy ones. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely <laughs> cashed in on Harry Potter here, haven't they? Because it does look like Diagon Alley. I've got the one shop there, which is the shop that must not be named. Another one, World of Wizardry. So this is where we are going for dinner later. One of the most haunted pubs in the UK. Should I be scared? I've just seen a sign here that tells you about the five ghosts of the Golden Fleece. So there is Lady Alice Peckett, said to be found roaming the endless corridors and staircases. Geoffrey Munro, <laughs> located on the third floor. One-Eyed Jack, mostly sighted in the bottom bar. One-Eyed Jack is said to be dressed in a red coat. Grumpy old man, again sighted in the bottom bar, this time crouched in a small alcove. And a small child immediately behind the entrance to the pub is where the youngest of the ghosts has been most commonly sighted. Ooh. So here's some history about the Golden Fleece. It's mentioned in the York City archives as far back as 1503. The garden is named after Alice Peckett and wife John Peckett, who owned the premises. So it's been the Lord Mayor of York. The stone building was built with a wooden frame and no foundations, making the floor, ceilings and doorways in places crooked. So Catherine's room was a bathroom that disappeared off building plan for more than 200 years, rediscovered in 2000. There we go. Look at this alleyway. Doesn't look creepy at all. Nope. Imagine coming down here in the dark. And drunk. <laughs> and drunk. Oh, I bet they do the ghost walks down here, oh, don't they? Shop, Actually, when you look up, oh my god, look how close the buildings are. They're crooked. Oh, what we're saying, this building is crooked. Yeah, Because look, like it's wider here. Yeah, they make them come. I don't know and why, then but they you go make them come out. Up. You look at old buildings. It's almost touching. <laughs> I'm just about to go in here, York's Chocolate Story. I'm really intrigued actually, Chris booked this. I'm not quite sure what to expect. Is it gonna be a bit like Cadbury Land? I know we get a bag of chocolate as we walk in, uh, which is, you know, incentive enough.
So we're just about to start the tour, but we have to go in the lift, family by family, for safety, obviously. And I'm just thinking, is this like the Wonka Vader? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Are we gonna go up? Like the great glass Wonka Vader. <laughs> I didn't realise we were making, making stuff. now come to York Minster which is big church. a big church no it's a cathedral <laughs> it's the biggest one of the largest cathedrals in Europe is it yeah it's always been bigger I don't know well I was thinking that I was uh, looking at it but yeah it's one of the biggest cathedrals in Europe way, apparently according to Wikipedia which is always right um yeah and it seats the Archbishop of York obviously it's sat in there yeah, sat in there right now. Is he? Yeah. Alright, is he not working from home? <laughs> this is his home. Alright. Where's he live? Does <laughs> he live back there? Has he got an attic room? It is. It's bigger than what you think, actually. Look. It's huge. All of this. Yeah, it goes the plus side. there, where it's <laughs> got scaffolding on. And that. It is pretty vast, isn't it? It is pretty. Should we do a ghost walk? Every night, 7.30. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to do a ghost walk, you know. I always to do Do you? They do a million for them, don't they? Yeah, well, we've got dinner plans at that time, so we can't do one tonight, but maybe next time. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done a ghost walk. And was it scary? Chris just said that this building here reminded him of Liberties, but like a mini Liberties. Oh my god. It's a Christmas shop. Is it a Christmas shop? <gasps> Are we going in? Is that is is the Pope Catholic? I think we are going in. Oh yeah, get my mask. Oh, what time is it? Because imagine if they all went off at the same time. Well, they were. They're all at the same time. Though, yeah. No, they're all at different times. Oh. Can't have them all going off at the same time. You can't change it. <laughs> you can't change it. <laughs> okay. 
Look at this. Oh, look at that. They're so clever though, aren't they? So we are back in the room now, just having a bit of a chill, bit of a rest before we go back out. I've made us a nice cup of tea and we're gonna try the chocolate samples from the chocolate shop. So we were given some samples as we walked in. Usually we'd be able to eat things and try things as we're going around, but obviously because of health and safety and everything and you have to wear a mask, they bag everything up now. So in here we have got a round tree sample, a quality street, cocoa nibs, cocoa mass, and 54% dark chocolate. I believe this little square, gold square bar is the original bar of chocolate, pure chocolate like pure yeah. chocolate that they used to have um the chocolate factory tour was really good i wasn't able to film loads of it you sort of it's you go in and you get like a big talk about the uh, aztecs where chocolate came from all that kind of stuff uh, a bit like if you've ever been to cabri world and you do all that it's very similar uh then we went through and there was a film about round tree and everyone that you yeah. know developed round trees chocolate all that kind of thing and then there's another room where you go through and you learn all about kit kats <laughs> and yeah. there's 260 flavors of kit kat in japan yeah that's the most they consume the uh, most kit kats yeah they consume the most yeah they the factory ma makes two million a day that's a lot of kit kats mm. a lot of kit kats uh, it's quite funny actually because when we were going in there he was going around going what's your favorite chocolate bar and everyone's going 12 yeah, yeah, Mars bar. <laughs> They're like, what about York chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really, really interesting. And I didn't realise that we would be making lollipops. So we're going to give these a little bit of a taste test. Oh, these are the chocolates that the guy was making. These have got like, is it got an orange in it? Uh, it's got like an orange liqueur type fondant. Oh, mm. Oh. I'll try them. I'm not good with never mind creamy, <laughs> creamy chocolate. Um, but I thought we'd do a little taste test of our lollies. Should we do that? Yeah. Should we do? Okay, we've got our lollies. Let's just inspect your work of art. Actually, do you know what? No, turn it back around. Actually, yours is good because you've got a bit of everything. And I pushed it in. But yeah, you're gonna get a bit of everything in each bite. I try to be a bit more artistic. I think that's going to be my failure. No, I did like cornflakes at the bottom. But the ingredients you didn't use. Yeah, we got to t bring back. They, you can bag them up and take them home. Yeah. Anyway, anyway should we should we dig in? Yeah. Go. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god, that chocolate is so good. Mm. Oh. Okay, so we are now yeah. in the Golden Fleece, which is the most rated club in the UK. Uh, we saw this pub on Most Wanted, didn't we? Years ago. Was it 20 years ago? <laughs> and um, we've actually been here before, but like about 15 years ago now. And um, it's not changed. It really hasn't changed. We've ordered some food. Uh, we're doing like little snacks. Uh, but they've also got the 50% off Monday to Wednesday throughout August, so you get 50% off your, um, your bill, which is good. So yeah, we've ordered a few little snacky bits. We've got a gin and a cider. We've got a little friend here. Yeah. What I'm gonna do whilst we're eating, I'm gonna set a time lapse to see if we can catch any spooky goings on. So we have finished the Golden Fleece. We didn't see any ghosts. No. Well, not that we know of anyway. Got many, so. We're actually in the lower bar where there's supposed to be a grumpy old man that sits in the alcove. And- it's only me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, another guy as well, Jack. Something Jack, he's got a red coat. You would have seen it earlier, but didn't see anything. Anyway, we are walking back to our hotel via the Shambles, which is where we came earlier. Look how different it looks now. It's very quiet. This was so busy earlier. It's actually really nice now. 
and all these shops here used to be butchers yeah butcher shops and they had market stalls back in like the olden times the 80s it, is that the 80s is it <laughs> you can imagine it can't you all these being butcher shops like all of the windows and things well good morning well it's now the next day we're all up dressed and ready to leave we didn't really do much else last night other than we walked around the shambles a little bit more and then came back to the hotel and packed and everything um but yeah that's it for york that's it for this vlog i've had a really nice time in york we only had a day here really and so i would have loved to have done a lot more i would have loved to have gone to some museums the viking museum looked really good uh what else do we want to do when we come back up here next time christmas time you said chris yeah i'd like to come up at christmas Depends time things, i'd like to do a ghost walk I would. We, I, we were talking about it, weren't we? Yeah. And I would quite like to do a ghost walk. There's loads of things to do here. It's a really beautiful city. Um, and yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Anyway, we're packed. Yep. On to our next destination. So that'll be the next vlog. And we're going to Chester. So we'll see you there. Yeah.